Is Paradise Dragona the first half of the Surging Spark set, which is coming out after Solar Crown, actually gonna be an insane set? Let's see. What's up, Lil Puffs? Today we're gonna be talking about Paradise Dragona, the first half of Surging Sparks, which is gonna come out real soon, and we should be expecting some nice things from it because we've already had two special illustration rares revealed and we've had a couple of uh, illustration rares and a nice little trainer card. So we know that Surging Sparks is going to have 11 special illustration rares and I believe 23 illustration rares. We've had two of those 11 revealed and Surging Sparks is going to be divided into two sets the paradise dragona and the the sparkling whatever set so we're definitely expecting at the very least five special illustration rares in this upcoming japanese set so we have two of them revealed as we know the latias ex special illustration rare and the uh executor ex special illustration rare so which ones do we expect or can we expect to have a special illustration rare let's first talk about the first things that were revealed we have the we have the applin flapple and Appleton line. We have the special illustration rare for both of these cards. Uh, that's a really cool, like, prehistoric look for Flapple. And the Appleton with the kind of like a village working. Uh, that That's both of them are really cool. Uh, this one's cool. This one's cuter. And it's also cool. And then we had the cast form, sunny form. Uh, not never been a huge for, uh, fan of cast form. Uh, I was kind of when I was ki a kid, I was kind of bummed that cast form was like the Lapras that you would get in the first games because they gave you the Pokemon uh, when you pass the weather center, just like Lapras in the first games. But this time it was a cast form. Now it's a cool concept. Set, but the Pokemon, you know, it's it, it's a little lackluster in my opinion. But these the illustration rare is pretty cool. We just got today a Bruxish illustration rare, which actually looks really cool for a Pokemon that a lot of people don't like very much. And the Braviary, God bless America, bird, and he's looking, he's looking like he's looking like uh, I, I guess okay. He's looking okay. He's looking nice. We've also had main set cards revealed. Uh, so we had, of course, the four EXs that we know. We have the Flygon EX. We have, of course, the uh, Black Curum EX that I talked about in another video. I really hope we get an SIR of that one. We have the Ladias EX, which we already know is going to get an SIR, Special Illustration Rare. We have our Kaludon EX, the evolution of Duraludon. We have the Executor. And we have a Cyclizar EX. Now, like I said, we should expect at least five, like uh, either five or six, but at least five because it's going to be 11 and it's going to be only two sets. So unless we get four and then seven, which is really a mismatch, honestly, for uh, for both to like divide it like that for both sets. I don't think that's exactly what could happen, although maybe nah, nah, that. Nah, no, 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 that won't happen. That won't happen. It'll probably be a five and six kind of scenario. But anyways, let me keep going with the illustration rares that were revealed. We have a Satyan illustration rare. All right. Well, you know, it, it's it's nothing too crazy. I do like the whale mer. Yo, the whales. They're they're, it's, they're they're both actually whales. This guy is like a land whale. I kind of like that. And we have the Vibrava. Ooh. Oh, I, I'm a huge fan of the Vibrava Flygon line. Well, obviously, th third generation was my favorite, and Flygon was probably mm, better to me than the than the Salamence. So if you know, let's we'll, we'll we'll talk about it later. Now, then we have a we have the trainer card. This dude I have no idea who he is. Don't really care to know who he is. Oh, and then this card, Lys Lysia. Let me ask you guys: Did you know who Lysia was? Like. Uh, the uh, the the uh, I played Omega. No, I actually played Alpha Sapphire. I played Alpha Sapphire. I had absolutely no idea who she was, and apparently it's because I didn't do enough Pokemon contests. And apparently she's apparently a very popular character in in the Pokemon franchise. I know Rosa. I know uh, Iris. I know uh, Bianca. I know a lot of popular characters but i had no idea who she was and i played those games when they came out i had absolutely no idea so apparently this character right here is a 300 and has been a 300 dollar care about a 300 dollar character card in the celestial storm sun and moon set the one with the rayquaza 
So literally, the Rayquaza isn't even the most expensive card in this set, the Rainbow Rare. It's this girl. And apparently she's also getting a card in this set right here. Now, if she would manage to get a special illustration rare, oh boy. And I don't even, I didn't even know who she was. But I imagine she's going to be a an unexpected main chase card in this set. Just like Twilight Masquerade has Carmine as the second most expensive card in the set and Perrin. I expect Lysia, if she gets a special illustration rare, to be insane. Uh, so we also had the Arcaludon illustration rare. Oh, no, wait, wait. Wait, what? This was an illustration rare. This is a special illustration rare. Oh, my lord. Wait, wait, wait. Never mind. Oh, no. Okay, all right. We got a special illustration rare. Arcaludon, Executor, and Ladias. We have three out of potential five or six. Wow, okay, all right, this card, I'm not gonna lie, first impressions is underwhelming for a special illustration rare. I am not going to lie to you. Our Colodon is a pretty nice upgrade to Duraludon, and there's a reason why Duraludon isn't that loved of a Pokemon. It's literally one of the cheapest uh, alternate arts in Evolving Skies. Um... Wow, this card is very underwhelming, though, for uh, for such a cool Pokemon. Well, it's, it's a cool Pokemon. Uh, it's like a Bishop type of Pokemon. Oh, my lord. Well, anyways, now that we know that our Colodon is a special illustration or another one, we have three out of, like, five or six. What, are, what could possibly be the next two or three from this Japanese set that is going to be the first half of Surging Sparks? I would really hope it's this guy. I would hope for it so much if we do not get this guy black kirami x i'm pretty sure uh, like he his full art is really cool if we do not get him then the next best one i would want is flygon flygon would add so much to this set uh if especially if they made it really cool i imagine they're gonna if they would make a special edition rare out of this one it'd be kind of cartoonish but uh a flygon ex special edition rare would be insane for me especially because i really like it now, if they made a Cyclizar one, no thanks. No thanks. No thanks. But, all right, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Bro, like, why is, she, why, why is she known to be an Altaria trainer? You have literally Winona, the Winona, the, the flying-type gym leader, in the same games, in the same generation, with the Altaria as the lead, the sweeping Altaria. That's like, why, why, why couldn't you give her, well, I mean, she does fit, it does fit with her character, but I mean, we already had a long-standing character with an Ace Altaria, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, this character, uh, it's, honestly, it, it, I don't know, man. Like I said, Surging Sparks, I believe, is going to be a banger of a set we've, with what we already know, which is the Pikachu and the Latias, at the very least, at the very least, those two are going to make Surging Sparks a unexpected banger that I have at this point, like I'm just waiting for a little bit more to see. This could potentially be the one of the best Scarlet Violet sets, even with all the bangers that are coming, like the Terrestrial Festival with the Evolutions, the uh, Team Rocket set, the the white, the black and white sets with the uh, Reshiram and Zekrom. This could potentially be one of the best sets in all of Pokemon. What do you guys think? And uh, let me know how I did this uh, review. Let me know what you guys uh, liked about all the cards that I showed. Uh, I also forgot to show this uh, Black Kirim full art. So th th this is the reason why I would love a special illustration rare out of Black Kirim because the full art already looks amazing. So anyways, guys, I'm going to leave you and let's get on to the next news.